Hello everyone! In my previous video I have shown how to check each URL listed in the site's sitemap resource and make sure that you can, for example, either request it so it exists or visit it in the browser. The problem we have is that if your site XML has a lot of resources, we are all checking them from the same test. So if the first URL is wrong right here, then the rest of URLs are not even checked because the test immediately fails and stops checking. We want to change this. We want to create a separate it test. Let's say it first URL and check it maybe second URLs, you know, third and so on. So we want to create a separate test for each URL so it's tested by itself. I have a plugin for this called Cypress Each. So I can import Cypress Each and that will add it each method to the uh, it global. Now, in order for me to actually check the URLs, I need to have them right away. I cannot fetch them using a hook or a different test. If we need to generate separate tests, we have to have the data, the list of URLs available immediately when we load the spec. So which means we have to request the sitemap, not from the spec file, because it's too late, but from the plugin file. Let me show you what I mean. So I have the plugin file right here, and usually it has nothing, right? It just registers you know, the task, do something. But this file runs before the Cypress opens the browser, before it loads the spec. So this is an ideal place to fetch the sitemap XML, parse it, and get the list of URLs. So here's how we can do it. First, I found Oh, I'm going to use the GUT NPM module, which I always use to you know, make HTTP requests, fetch data. It's very convenient. Second, well, we have a config, and this config has the base URL. So if we want to load the sitemap, we need the sitemap URL, which will be this, right? The base URL, we read from the config file. It's one of the config values, and we'll just append sitemap. If we want to fetch the sitemap itself and get the XML, we'll use the GUT module like this. Well, we are waiting it, so we're gonna change our plugin callback function to async. So we fetch the resource and convert it to text, which just gives us XML. Now we have to parse XML. We're gonna parse it the same way that we parsed it before by using this X2GS module which means we have to create a new instance and parse the XML that we got. All right, now we can uh, extract URLs right, from each property and we can log them. Perfect. Let's see if, okay, it already restarted the process and it shows all the URLs that we fetched and printed. Now, we need to somehow pass it from the plugin process to the spec file. Now, usually these are two separate processes. One runs in the browser, one runs in node. So the plugin runs in node. So if you want to pass something to the spec, the best way is to use the environment object, which is kind of like all your user values that are not Cypress primers like base URL, but anything you want it to be uh, shared between the plugins, between the specs, and so on. So we'll say sitemap URLs equals URLs. Now, a very important thing, you have to return the change config. Otherwise, Cypress doesn't know that you changed it, but it has to be uh, uh, used. So you have to return it from the plugin callback. All right, so it restarted the plugin process. Okay, and here's how we will verify that we have the sitemap URLs, okay? inside the config environment object. So in Cypress desktop GUI, the first window that pops up, go to the settings tab and click on configuration. This is the config object and it has settings that are mostly default, uh, settings that come from Cypress JSON. And right now our environment is empty, which means we have to restart the uh, Cypress instance because the changes we applied did not restart um, the process correctly. So settings, configuration, and look at the environment object. It has sitemap URLs property, 
which is exactly what we set in the plugin process. Now, the cool thing about this, now if you open uh, a spec, you can use Cypress Env to get this value. It's already there. It will be injected directly as part of configuration. So we can go back to Cypress test, and here's what I will do. First, I'll verify that we do have those URLs available. So I'll say expect Cypress Env sitemap URLs to be an array. Okay, so let's look at this once we start the spec. Ah, there are no tests, right? So let's say it works, for example. Uh, we need at least an empty. Okay. So we ran the hook because we had an empty test. It ran and it confirmed that we do have a URLs already. So we did correctly request the sitemap, we parsed it, and we passed it from the plugin file to the test file. Now, it's just mechanics. We'll say for each URL and why don't we do is the following. We're going to grab it and we'll, we'll say URLs, right? It's the same thing and we'll use it here and we'll say for each URL, right? Now the first parameter is a test title and it can be dynamic. So we'll say uh, it's a string. So whatever parameter it reads one by one from URLs, just put it inside the test title and inside the callback it will pass that parameter in this case it's url so let's visit the url that's it so notice how it first of all created four different tests and second it used the url in the title and then inside the site visit command now this is a full url we probably don't want to do this so we're going to parse it right here and We'll parse it by mapping the full URL, right? I'm just going to say parse and it on parse path name because we do have base name. So it's a lot more convenient to look at the path name because it all refers to the same um, base URL. Okay, so this is how we can generate a separate test for each URL that we grabbed from the sitemap, parsed it, cleaned it up and pa passed from the plugin file to each spec file and read it using cypress env command and then generated a separate um, URL for each. Okay, so try it out.